I'm Mr. Jax, and Chief Meteorologist David Heckard. Well, you may not know this, but there is a dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico. This exists just off the coast of Louisiana, and this is literally an area where marine life cannot survive, and it's because it is significantly depleted of oxygen, and that depletion of oxygen basically forces fish and marine life to either exit the area or unfortunately die if they're not capable of doing so. And this dead zone's been around since at least the mid 1980s. Scientists have been studying it for decades and their report on this dead zone just came out on Wednesday. So let's talk about how this dead zone developed here off the coast of Louisiana. And it all has to do with this right here. And this is the Mississippi River and its tributaries. The river, of course, is an enormous river that drains much of the Ohio, Tennessee valleys back through much of the Midwestern United States and the parts of the Central Plains as well. And what ends up happening is the river collects what we call nutrient rich water. So this is runoff from farmers that deal with fertilizer, also wastewater uh, that gets dumped into the river from some of the larger cities like St. Louis and Memphis. That's all considered nutrient rich water. And that's water that isn't necessarily used to being in the Gulf of Mexico, nor necessarily should it be in the Gulf of Mexico. So the Mississippi River collects a lot of excess nutrients up into parts of the Midwest and Southern United States. And then the river dumps all that water into the Gulf of Mexico. And this enhancement of nutrient rich water really sets up shop here between the mouth of the Mississippi River and then just off the coast of Louisiana. And this zone here is called the dead zone. What ends up happening is algae blooms develop in this area and the blooms basically develop very quickly in the spring and summer months and then fade away. As they fade away, bacteria begins eating at these algae blooms and they rob this area of a lot of the oxygen. And so this becomes a significantly oxygen depleted area, which means marine life basically cannot live there. Now, the good news is this dead zone is actually a little bit smaller than it has been in previous years. In fact, it's currently sitting at 3,058 square miles. You may be saying to yourself, it's good news, it's shrinking. But here's the bad news. This corridor right here is about the size of Yellowstone National Park. So we're talking about a pretty expansive area that marine life cannot live in. The good news, it is continuing to shrink. In fact, the, it was largest, the largest area was recorded back in 2017. And the EPA and the governments of a lot of the states and the federal government are getting behind kind of reducing this area as well. In fact, a new $60 million grant was awarded by the EPA for a lot of communities to help reduce some of the nutrient rich water that's rolling in the Mississippi River. It's likely that this dead zone will never completely disappear, but scientists are hopeful they can continue to reduce it as we move forward in the coming years and decades. This is Chief Meteorologist David Eckert for Channel 4, The Local Station.